Okay, day 17, supply and demand. Um, supply and demand is real easy. It, your supply is your product, and the demand is how much the public wants it. So if you don't have a lot of your product and a lot of people want it, you can charge more. If you have a lot of the product and people really don't want it, then you have to lower your prices so you can sell it. Let's take in this whole craziness quarantine thing, let's take toilet paper. Nobody can find toilet paper anywhere. So if a person had toilet paper and they paid $5 for a 10 pack and somebody really needed toilet paper, they could sell them the 10 pack for $25, which is five times what they paid for it. I take eBay. Both my kids are collectors. They collect Funko Pops. They collect baseball cards. They collect Legos. Um, if you can't get a Lego in a store, you can't get a Funko Pop in a store anymore, then they put it on eBay, and that's why they jack the prices up on eBay, and you have to pay more than what it was worth in a store. So that's supply and demand. As long as you have a little bit of a product in high demand, you can charge what you want. If you have a lot of product and little demand, then you have to make the prices of where you can move your product and make a profit. Uh, Federalists and anti-Federalists really come from back in the 1700s. The Federalists were for a federal government, and so they supported the Constitution. The anti-Federalists were against the Constitution. So you had people like um, Alexander Hamilton that wrote the Federalist Papers. So he was a Federalist, and he was for the Constitution. You can see someone who advocates a system of government where they unite under a central authority. That's a Federalist, a member supporter of the Federalist Party. Um, Anti-Federalists are people that oppose the creation of a strong federal government. They did not want to have one here. Thomas Jefferson was a anti-Federalist. Uh, the last thing is currency, and that's just money. It's just what your um, country uses in money. We use the dollar. Japan uses the yen. They use the euro in Europe, the ruble in Russia. So whatever your country uses as money is its currency. So that is day 17. We'll talk to you tomorrow with day 18.